Join us in uncovering the secrets of the Great Pyramid of Giza, a testament to ancient engineering. We'll delve into its construction, explore its chambers, debunk myths, and understand its cultural significance. Stay tuned till the end to demystify this architectural wonder. Imagine a time when the Giza Plateau was a bustling construction site. The Great Pyramid, standing on this plateau, is a marvel of ancient engineering and a testament to the ingenuity of the people who built it. But what are the theories behind its construction? How did the ancient Egyptians manage to erect such a colossal structure without the machinery we have today? To begin with, let's think about the materials. The bulk of the pyramid is comprised of limestone blocks, each weighing an average of two and a half tons. These blocks were quarried nearby and transported to the site. The outer casing, now mostly gone, was made of finer white limestone, sourced from quarries across the Nile. Then there's the question of how these massive blocks were moved into place. One theory suggests the use of sledges, wooden devices that could be loaded with stone and pulled by teams of laborers. To reduce friction, it's believed that the Egyptians may have dampened the sand in front of the sledges with water. Another aspect of the pyramid's construction that continues to baffle researchers is the precision with which it was built. Despite the absence of modern tools, the base of the pyramid is nearly perfect in its levelness and alignment to the cardinal points. Conventional wisdom tells us that the pyramid was built using a system of ramps. The most widely accepted ramp theory is Jean-Pierre Houdin's internal ramp theory, which suggests a spiraling ramp within the pyramid itself was used to hoist the blocks into place. This theory is supported by microgravimetry scans, which show low-density areas inside the pyramid that could be these ramps. However, the construction of the Great Pyramid is not just about the techniques and tools used. It's also about the people who dedicated their lives to building this monumental structure. Contrary to popular belief, the pyramid was not built by slaves, but by a workforce of skilled laborers who lived in villages near the construction site. These workers were organized into teams and given names like the Friends of Khufu, after the pharaoh for whom the pyramid was built. They were well fed and cared for, with evidence of medical treatment for injuries sustained during the construction. The construction of the Great Pyramid was a feat of logistics, organization, and engineering that showcases the remarkable capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. It's a testament to their skill, their determination, and their understanding of the materials and the landscape around them. As we delve into the theories of its construction, the tools they used, and the remarkable techniques that were ahead of their time, we can only marvel at the ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians and the enduring legacy they have left behind in the form of the Great Pyramid. Beneath the surface, the Great Pyramid holds secrets in its chambers and passages. As we journey into the heart of the pyramid, let's imagine ourselves as ancient explorers, navigating through the narrow winding passages in search of the Pharaoh's burial chamber. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or the Pyramid of Cheops, is a marvel of internal architecture. A core labyrinth of chambers and corridors, it was designed to protect the pharaoh's body and his treasures, guiding the ruler's soul to its celestial abode. The pyramid's internal structure is a testament to the ancient Egyptians' architectural ingenuity. It contains three known chambers, the king's chamber, the queen's chamber, and the unfinished subterranean chamber. The grand gallery, a magnificent corridor that slopes upwards, connects the king's chamber to the pyramid's entrance. The king's chamber, the final resting place of the pharaoh, is a grand room built entirely of red granite. It houses a sarcophagus, believed to have once contained the mummy of pharaoh Khufu. The queen's chamber, despite its name, was likely not intended for the burial of a queen. Its purpose remains a mystery, adding to the enigma of the great pyramid. The unfinished subterranean chamber, carved into the bedrock upon which the pyramid was built, is a stark contrast to the other two. It's rough, unfinished, and appears abandoned, making it a fascinating subject of study and speculation. Navigating through the pyramid is no easy task. The passages are narrow, steep, and claustrophobic. Yet they are an integral part of the pyramid's design, serving not only as pathways, but also as a deterrent to tomb robbers. Over the centuries, the Great Pyramid of Giza has been the subject of intense exploration and study. Despite its age, it continues to reveal new secrets. For instance, in recent years, scientists have employed a non-invasive technology called muon radiography to probe the pyramid's internal structure. Muon radiography is a technique that detects muons, subatomic particles that are byproducts of cosmic rays. 
By placing detectors inside the pyramid, scientists can map its internal architecture, just like an X-ray reveals the structure of the human body. This cutting-edge technology has led to some astonishing discoveries. In 2017, a team of scientists announced the discovery of a large void above the Grand Gallery. This previously unknown space, dubbed the Scan Pyramid's Big Void, measures at least 30 meters in length. Its purpose and contents remain a mystery, inviting further exploration and study. The Great Pyramid of Giza, with its complex internal structure, continues to captivate and intrigue us. It's a testament to the ancient Egyptians' architectural prowess and their profound understanding of the afterlife. Recent technological advancements like muon radiography have unveiled more about these enigmatic structures. As we continue our journey, let's delve deeper into the secrets of the pyramids, exploring beyond Giza, and uncovering the myths and cultural significance of these timeless monuments. Egypt's legacy of pyramids extends beyond Giza. As we delve deeper into the saga of these ancient marvels, we find ourselves stepping off the Giza Plateau and venturing into the vast expanse of Egypt's desert sands. Here, we encounter other, equally fascinating pyramids, each with its unique charm and intriguing tales of their creation. Let's journey first to Saqqara, home to the Step Pyramid of Djoser, the earliest colossal stone structure and pyramid in Egypt. This six-tiered, four-sided structure is a significant leap from the traditional rectangular Mastaba tombs of the era. Designed by the legendary architect Imhotep, the Step Pyramid marked a momentous shift in ancient Egyptian architecture and set the stage for future pyramid designs. Now let's shift our gaze to Dashur, located at the southern end of the royal necropolis of Memphis. Dashur is renowned for its bent pyramid, an architectural anomaly with a noticeable shift in angle midway up the sides. This pyramid built under the reign of Pharaoh Sneferu is an excellent example of the experimental phase of pyramid construction. It signifies the transition from step-sided to smooth-sided pyramids, a design that was perfected in Sneferu's subsequent construction, the Red Pyramid. The Red Pyramid, also located in Dashur, is the world's first true smooth-sided pyramid, a blueprint for the Great Pyramid of Giza. Beyond Dashur, our journey takes us to Midum, where we find the Midum Pyramid, another testament to the ancient Egyptians' architectural evolution. This pyramid, initially built as a step pyramid, was later transformed into a true pyramid by filling in the steps with casing stones. However, due to design flaws, most of the outer casing collapsed, leaving behind a three-stepped tower-like structure surrounded by a mound of rubble. The pyramids of Saqqara, Dashur and Medum, along with others scattered across Egypt, each carry their unique tales of architectural advancement, royal ambition, and ancient ingenuity. These structures offer us invaluable insights into the evolution of pyramid construction, from the early step pyramids to the architectural masterpieces we see at Giza. As we marvel at these structures, we realize that each pyramid, each stone, is a page in the grand book of ancient Egyptian history. They are silent witnesses to the rise and fall of dynasties, the reign of pharaohs, the skill of ancient architects, and the relentless march of time. Sites like Saqqara and Dashur offer a glimpse into the evolution of these majestic structures, each with its own story to tell. Our exploration of these sites is far from over. We will continue to piece together the fascinating puzzle that is the history of these awe-inspiring structures, delving deeper into the sands of time. Many myths surround these ancient structures. Let's dive into the sea of misconceptions and fish out the truth about the Great Pyramid of Giza. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, the theory that aliens built the pyramids. This idea is rooted in the notion that ancient Egyptians lacked the sophistication to construct such monumental structures. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. The Egyptians were ingenious engineers and astronomers. They had the knowledge to align the pyramids to the cardinal points with remarkable accuracy. So, no extraterrestrial involvement needed here. Next, there's a widespread belief that the pyramids were built by slaves. This myth has been perpetuated by Hollywood, but archaeological evidence suggests otherwise. The builders were skilled workers, not slaves, who lived in nearby villages. They were respected for their craft, given proper burials near the pyramids they helped to erect. Another popular myth is that the pyramids were built using advanced technology lost to time. Some even suggest levitation or acoustic technology. Yet the reality is much simpler. The Egyptians used basic tools like ropes, wooden sleds, and ramps to transport the massive stone blocks. 
Then, there's the misconception that the pyramids are a testament to the pharaoh's vanity, built solely as grand tombs. While it's true that they were used as burial sites, they were also symbols of religious belief. The pyramid shape was considered sacred embodying the rays of the sun. The construction of each pyramid was a national project that unified the Egyptian people. Finally, let's debunk the myth that the pyramid's construction resulted in massive death tolls. While the task was undoubtedly strenuous, the workers were well cared for. They were fed a diet of meat, bread and beer to sustain their strength and received medical care for injuries. It's estimated that the work-related death rate was surprisingly low. The Great Pyramid of Giza is indeed a marvel, but its mystery should not overshadow the reality. The pyramid stands as a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and the remarkable civilization of ancient Egypt. As we pull back the veil of myth, we find a story not of aliens or lost technology, but of people. People who, with their hands and minds, built a monument that has withstood the test of time. We'll separate fact from fiction, debunking common misconceptions about the pyramid's construction, purpose, and the people who built them. Finally, we explore the pyramid's profound role in ancient Egyptian culture. These grand structures were more than just feats of engineering. From their placement to their purpose, they were deeply entrenched in the beliefs and values of the society that built them. First, let's consider their alignment. The Great Pyramid of Giza, like many others, was meticulously aligned with the cardinal points of the compass. This wasn't just for aesthetics or ease of construction. The ancient Egyptians believed in the significance of celestial bodies and their movements. The alignment of the pyramids with the stars was a reflection of their religious beliefs, tying the realms of the earth and the heavens together. Next, let's delve into the purpose of these pyramids. Many of us know them as tombs for the pharaohs, but it goes beyond that. The pyramids were part of a larger complex that included temples and other structures. They were not just final resting places, but also monuments to the divine status of the pharaohs, who were considered to be gods on earth. The pyramids, with their towering heights, were a symbol of this divine status, reaching towards the heavens. Not to forget, the pyramids were a testament to the technological advancements of the ancient Egyptians. The precision required to build these structures, the understanding of mathematics and geometry, the development of tools, all these reflect a society that was technologically advanced for its time. The pyramids are a physical manifestation of this knowledge, standing tall for thousands of years, defying time and the elements. The cultural significance of the pyramids also extends to the people who built them, Contrary to popular belief, they were not built by slaves, but by skilled laborers who were respected members of society. This dispels the myth of the pyramids being built on the back of oppression, and instead highlights the value placed on skilled labor in ancient Egyptian society. Lastly, the pyramids were not static. They evolved over time, reflecting changes in religious beliefs, political power, and architectural styles. From the steppe pyramids of the early dynastic period, to the smooth-sided pyramids of the Old Kingdom, these structures tell a story of a society in flux, constantly innovating and adapting. In conclusion, the pyramids of Egypt were deeply woven into the fabric of ancient Egyptian culture. They were not merely tombs, but symbols of religious beliefs, political power, technological prowess, and societal values. These structures were not just tombs, they were a reflection of the society's beliefs, values, and technological advancements. The Great Pyramid of Giza continues to fascinate and inspire. We've journeyed through its construction, peered into its chambers, and debunked myths. Remember, history is full of wonders waiting to be explored. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more historical explorations.